We were uh, touching on uh, injustice there, Sophia. And when you look at the other aspects of um, standing for justice, not fighting for it, but standing to take a stand in your power. When we talk about fighting, then we're coming from a space of resistance and then what we resist will often persist. So where we, when we stand in, uh, when we take a stand for justice, one of the things we have to be able to do, first of all, is to surrender to what is in that moment to be able to be in acceptance and in that to also to be able to forgive where forgiveness is is necessary in order for us to move forward because ultimately forgiveness is the gift that we give to ourselves because in letting go and forgiving we set ourselves free and that is where you spoke of people's illnesses reversing and so on because when they are in unforgiveness they are over releasing cortisol in the body and that um, over release of cortisol is then causing the impact of stress on the body, which has become the number one cause of death today. So what would you like to say about that, Sophia? Well, um, basically, is benefit to us. When we forgive somebody else, we're actually benefiting ourselves because it means we have uh, raised ourselves to a higher spiritual moral uh, level. Um, and that's that, because that's what it requires to be able to forgive genuinely. And we're operating from our heart, not our mind. And, you know, uh, I'm talking about now the heart, the existential heart, the kalb that Allah refers to, not the heart, the muscle, but that essence of us where our, the seat of our intelligence resides. And so it's from a place of intelligence from the kalb that we actually um, uh, are able to sincerely forgive. And when it's on the mind, it's just... It's not always integrated fully into our lives, and it's not a genuine forgiveness, but from that heart, it's so genuine that your entire being alters. Now, uh, coming back to some of what you said in terms of you know, how we benefit, and you say the release of cortisol and all these things, it's amazing how Allah has designed us. So even if our emotions stray a little bit where we're becoming too caught up in emotions and we're not being able to forgive enough or be what it is meant to be at that time, then... Look how Allah has designed it that the hypothalamus will release all the, you know, the, the enzymes that will make you feel unsettled, will make you realize, your body will make you realize, it will become the barometer of your soul. It will make you realize that there's something unsettled with the soul as well because the body then becomes the outward manifestation of your unsettled soul. Besides um, that, um, you will remember that in forgiving somebody else, you're not doing anybody a favor because in not forgiving, if you think you're punishing a person by not forgiving them, it's like saying, I'll drink the poison and I hope you're going to get sick. Exactly. It doesn't work like that. You actually, you really literally, uh, and I hate to put it so crudely, but this is the best way I can think of it. Now, you're literally vomiting out your poison when you forgive somebody. And, and forgiveness is such a beautiful thing. So I'm so sorry I put it in such a weird analogy, but that's literally what you're doing. You're just letting all the stuff that's actually not supposed to be in there that's causing you mayhem inside, just let it all out. And then you're clean and free inside. You are now in a state of better health. And, and, and I mean that health at the, at the level of the cult, where we're talking about your physical, emotional, and spiritual, moral health, or encompassed in that. Yes, so with regard to retribution and forgiveness that we've covered so far, that's the first two levels that you mentioned, um, with, in, in both of them it, there are aspects of surrender and acceptance there. Would you like to explain more for yourself from your perspective, Sophia, what does surrender mean to you and the dynamics of it? Look, um, the surrender means to know that even when I'm upset and angry about something or hurt or devastated or shattered or totally destroyed by an event uh, emotionally, I surrender to the fact that, you know what, this is exactly what's supposed to happen right now. This is this is the way Allah has designed me, but it's how I then react or conduct myself afterwards. That's the relevant, the relevant thing about where we place ourselves in the retribution the forgiveness or the benevolent uh, state that we could be in. So uh, uh, submission and, and, and surrender starts with the fact that you can feel a rotten feeling. You can feel bad about something. You can be hurt about something. And and you're so often entitled to yes. um, because injustices are not acceptable. But your conduct has to be done with wisdom and within the parameters that Allah has seen permissible. Now, to summarize beautifully what you have just said yes. I, I have to quote Max um, who wrote a piece called Desi Rata because he put it so beautifully and I'd like to read Desi Rata to you yes. and whether or not it is clear to you 
and I'm going to emphasize this one, and whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, be at peace with God, whatever you conceive Him to be. And whatever your labors and aspirations in the noisy confusion of life, keep peace with your soul. Beautiful. Because with all its sham and drudgery and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Beautiful. So we're going to take a short break now. This is Nuri Siddiqui. I'll be back with you after this. 